sure fireworks already going off. There'll be some fireworks going off very shortly when they get underway. But still, they've sorted out all the uh, the road traffic situations. I can remember years gone by queuing up for an hour and a half coming in the mornings, but that seems to be all sorted out. Yeah, it's been sorted out by the Euro crisis, I think. You'll find no one can afford to come. Yeah, yeah. One or two people have ditched their cars and come on their scooters and motorbikes. Yeah, they have. Those shortcuts never do work, do they? That is the aerial view of that last long, long corner. And you can see what we were referring to there. It's tantalizing for these guys. If they're drafting product, we get what to do. And that was the shortcut. There are the points. Stone and out 20 points adrift. He could have been in front oh, of the to and and do it. on the second last corner last week, but that's what happens sometimes. And it can happen to anybody. Yeah. We know this uh, link to the straight use uh, 0.7 of a mile. I reckon they've got about 0.3 or 4. So they're about, they're about halfway down the straight here at the start finish line. Danny Pedroza, what his trick is to get in this number 26 Honda off the line, I don't know. And I bet some of the other riders would like to know. Number 8, Hector Barbera will be nervous. His first ever front row start in MotoGP. I took a Paolo Campanotti, the boss of Pramac, just before the race. He said, oh, I'm terribly nervous. I can't watch. So it's great for them, local guys, just down the road in Florence. We are ready for a race of Magello. Revs are up, lights are on, and they're away. Good start there from Lorenzo. It's a screamer as well from Pedroza as normal. But have a look at all that Lorenzo. Number eight, the Premat machine going with him. A big lunge down the inside by Dovizioso. Bike number four gets in into that almost comes together with Nicky Hayden on the first of the factory Ducati. So Lorenzo leads from Pedroza and Dovizioso. How about that? Yeah, that was interesting because Lorenzo got the better start, but Danny Pedroza powered to wait, was out to out accelerated him, but Jorge Lorenzo got it hooked up and out of that turn, running up over the top of the hill here. Comes out. Good start there for number six.